Today on the channel from the brand new Marvel Legends Doctor Strange Wave, we build Rintra and we rank the set from my least favorite to my favorite. Welcome everyone, Kyle here and welcome back to the channel as we conclude Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness action figure line with special Rintra Build-A-Figure we're going to put together here momentarily and then of course we're going to rank the entire wave from my least favorite to my favorite. But remember for all your Marvel Legends needs including the Doctor Strange wave hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. So first off let's build old Rintra up. Uh, nothing like a hairy bipedal creature. As you guys know, I'm an absolute sucker for a hairy bipedal creature. Especially a minotaur. Oh man, sign me up all day long. Now I don't know a lot about Rintra. I think I'm saying that, pronouncing that correctly. Hopefully I am. Hopefully his head goes on, it does. Uh, but he is, uh, you know, he was an underling of Doctor Strange for one time. That's the only thing I really know about him. Uh, he is a good guy, so that's good. Always want your hairy bipedal creatures to be on the good side because uh, usually they're bigger, tougher type creatures. So it makes sense uh, that he's a good guy, uh, I guess. I don't know. I'm sure I'm sure we've seen hairy bipedal creatures that are bad guys in the past as well. Well, he went together very easily, so I do like that. Uh, we always like that with our figures. I think everything's good. All right, what do we got here? We've got Rintra. We've got him put together. Start with his head. He's got two earrings going on. He's very fashionable, of course, Rintra here. And he's got two horns, a little bit uneven. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be like that, but a little heat will make them a little bit more even. Great colorization on the horns here. If you've ever seen actually cow horns or bull horns or anything like that, it's not like it's just a straight color. There's usually some blacks or some lighter colors mixed in. That is on here, so I think that's a nice attention to detail because I don't know if anybody would really be offended if this was all white or a tan color. So that is something different. He's got just basically a basic face to him. No smiling, no frowning, no mad, no huffing and puffing. Would have been cool to have some smoke effects out of his nose or something like that, but they're not going to do that. Uh, nice eyes, a little greenish, almost hint of blue in the eyes with the black pupils. So a very good head sculpt, head scan. This is not a head scan on him, would it be? It'd be a head sculpt. But it does look good to me. Then he's got a Doctor Strange kind of inspired mystical magical pajamas going on. As you know, most sorcerers, sorceresses or sorcerers do. As they love to wear their pajamas uh, around the clock, as we know. So he does have that going on. He does got single jointed elbows that move. Hands move side to side like we're accustomed to. He's got two C-grip holding hands on him. He does come with two fists, so I do like that. A lot of build of figures don't come with extra hands like that, so that's something different. And I feel he's got to have at least one fist on him. He's going to throw down with somebody, right? Uh, but he does some spells and things like that, so he isn't all about throwing down all the time. But he looks good in his robe. He's got that brown belt sculpted in. Uh, he does have a tail that is articulated, so it does go side to side. Or can be removed if you do uh, wiggle it out enough. But it does go back in there very easily. He's got his legs. Always the legs and the build of figures are the ones I struggle with getting in. But it, he did go in there fairly well. He does got the knee articulation. It's going to be a hard one to stand. Then he even has ankle articulation. I missed that. So he does have that. Then he's got his hooves, of course, gray with nice lines to it. Hairy bipedal creature throughout. Has a wristband. Uh, a strong looking figure. But one, well, there you go. I was going to say one that's going to be so hard to stand. I'll never be able to get it to stand without a stand. And he just proved me wrong right here. Never doubt a hairy bipedal creature. I should have learned that by now in my life. Uh, maybe today will be the last time I ever had that problem. But does he fit on a stand too if need be? He does. If need be, you can put him on a stand. But he stands just fine, which is amazing with the uh, arches and the cuts there on the legs. I didn't think he would stand very easily. But here we are. He stands perfectly. Rintra, sign me up. This is a great one. It's a big figure, a great idea for a Build-A-Figure in a Doctor Strange wave. Seems to make sense. I don't believe he is in the movie, so this is a comic Build-A-Figure. So I can see some people that don't collect the movie waves being a little bit upset, saying, I don't want this comic one. Or I wanted the comic one, I didn't want to buy all the movie figures, or vice versa. You guys know how that goes. Uh, some movie fans would have liked a movie build a figure in its place. But it is what it is. I'm here for it. A perfect spot for a hairy bipedal creature that's a deep cut like Rintra. 
I'm here for it, like I said. So there it is. There's Rintra, the build a figure of the Doctor Strange wave. Now we got to put him in here, and we got to put these in order of my least favorite to my favorite. All right, let's put them in order. We got eight figures here. This is a very, very big wave when you include the build of figures, so a lot going on here. And as a whole, I would never say this is the strongest Marvel Legends wave. I wouldn't say it's the worst. I can't really think what maybe the worst is off the top of my head. Maybe the first Doctor Strange wave might have been my worst. So this is no, by no means probably going to be my uh, favorite or even probably top five Marvel Legend build a figure waves of 2022. Uh, it just kind of is what it is. But as always, we are doing this before the movie has released. I'm going to see the movie for sure. I might see the movie. It might change my life. And I might just fall in love with some of these characters like the Doctor Stranges and stuff. So Stranger Things have happened. I'm not sure if it will. Uh, but that's uh, some of the takeaway here is we got to wait and see with the movie. Maybe that will help us like the figures a little bit more. But as we sit right here at this table, as you guys know, today, this is going to be my order. So let's start it off at number eight. My number eight, coming in last, I'm going to have to go with the Astral project Projection, Doctor Strange. It's okay. It's very, very gimmicky. It is an improvement over the last one, so I do like that idea. Uh, but it's one I could see a lot of people passing on. I don't know if you really need this, and how do you really display this? Once again, the movie might change our mind on this, but it just kind of is what it is. But it's a cool feature. I like the translucent plastic that doesn't feel cheap and, and brittle. It feels tough. It feels durable. I like that a whole lot. So I'm putting him in at number eight. Then we go to number seven. And I guess, once again, I'm going Master Mordo. Uh, don't have a lot of affinity for the character. We'll see what happens in the movie. Maybe that'll change my mind. Maybe it'll help him move up a little bit. But where we sit right here... I mean, I like his cape. I like what he's got going on there. I like some of his accessories, but I don't really have a deep attachment. And it's an okay figure, but nothing that blows me away. So he's going to be in at number seven. Now we go to number six. Where are we going to go? Ooh, it's tough. And I'm kind of surprised about this one. I thought I would like this one a heck of a lot more. But coming in at number six, I'm going to go Despair. Now, I don't know a lot about Despair. He does look good. However, the execution here is a little bit falling flat. He feels very cheap. He feels very breakable. Uh, maybe that's just mine, but the plastic on the elbows and the knees seems extremely weak. It seemed, seems like it would not be very durable, would not hold up to a lot of play. I don't know the character. He looks cool enough, but didn't blow me away as much as I thought it would. Uh, maybe if I had an affinity for the uh, character, that might change things. But as we sit right now, he's coming in at number six, which brings us to number five. And number five is a bit of a sleeper. I didn't think he'd be this high in this set here. We're talking about the Doctor Strange. It's weird. I've worked this side of the table, I guess, and didn't plan it that way. Uh, but nothing inherently bad about this Doctor Strange. Actually, it's a very, very solid Doctor Strange. And you definitely need at least one Doctor Strange movie figure in your movie lineup. There's no way around it. And I think if you're only getting one, you're probably not getting this one. You're getting this one or you're getting the Spider-Man release. So depending where you sit on your Doctor Stranges, I can see some people saying, I like the Spider-Man one more. I can see some people saying they like this one more. It really is up to your opinion. But for me, I was surprised how much I like this one. I thought it would be just uh, pretty much similar to the last one, which it is somewhat similar, but there's enough differences here to make it feel like a new character for sure. So you got Doctor Strange coming in at number five, uh, a bit of a sleeper one in this set, we'll call it. So now we're down to the final four and somehow they all ended up on this side of the table. But number four for me was my most wanted figure or one of my most wanted figures in 2022. And I did talk about that in the review. So this one, we're going to go with Sleepwalker at number four. Now, no great attachment to the Sleepwalker story is like I said, my attachment is the old trading cards back in the day. And it was just such a, uh, a deep, deep, deep cut character. I love it when we get stuff like that. Now, he does have some issues here. I do like some of the body work here, but uh, a lot like Despair feels a little bit cheaper in the knees and the elbows. Uh, it just doesn't feel like a very durable toy if you're a kid playing with these. Um, and Sleepwalker, by no means a character that's like Wolverine and the Venoms and the Sabretooths that I absolutely love and a lot of people like to love. Spider-Man, Avengers, like go on and on. Deep, deep cut character, but I appreciate the Marvel Legends team giving us deep cut characters. We need those. We don't just want the same Iron Mans all the time. So I like what we got here with Sleepwalker. Uh, I see him a lot in stores right now. I don't know what's up with that. A lot of stores just getting him. Uh, I don't think you'll have any problems finding most of this line eventually, especially the Sleepwalker. But cool enough and cool enough to warrant the number four spot in this set right here. Down to the final three. Where are we going to go here? And this is a bit of a shocker. This is where things get shocking. Shocking, yes. Sit down if you're not, or stand up if you are. Uh, do that. But number three for me, 
I'm going with Wong. I like this Wong. I like it a whole lot. I like the extra hands. The head articulation with the neck and stuff, tons of articulation here. Uh, good coloring, good everything. I had I said much like Sleepwalker, Wong was one of my most wanted figures in 2022. And I wouldn't say this disappoints. I say this is a very, very strong figure. Uh, I like it a whole lot. I'm not sure where I'm going to display him. Do I display him with the Shang-Chi Shang stuff? Do I display him with Abomination, Doctor Strange, the Avengers? There's a lot of shelves he fits in. I can see some people buying multiples of this to mix and match him in different shelves and different scenes in their display. But for me, I still like it. I just shocked. I figured for sure he might be one or two for me, but he ended up coming in at number three. A bit of a shock there and a deep cut line uh, for me, at least in my collecting and my knowledge, we'll call it. But Wong coming in at number three, but still a very, very solid figure. Now we're down to the final two. We're down to American Chavez and Rintraw. Now you're probably saying you know where this is going, but number two for me, American Chavez. But what a surprise. Never in one million years. Yes, one million. I counted it. It took me a while, but I counted it. One million years that I think this would be, she would be at the top of the list here at number two, American Chavez. Uh, I figured she'd be towards the bottom. But this is such a strong figure. It's, uh, you know, a teenage girl, uh, pinless joints throughout, uh, beautiful jacket, beautiful head sculpt, just a lot to like about this. And then, like I said in the review, you could use this with your wrestling figures as a fan. You could use this uh, with other superhero figure lines. You could use those turtle lines. A very versatile character that uh, outreaches more than just Marvel Legends. But then, of course, she is in the movie. I don't know anything about her. We're going to learn about her. I mean, she might be one like a young Rio that steals our heart and never let go. She might be the scene stealer of the movie, and all of a sudden she's going to be the, the hot new Marvel property. Stranger things have happened, I am sure, but... I am blown away how good this figure is. This could be the sleeper figure of 2022. It'll be interesting to see how hard this peg warms, as I could see this also being a peg warmer. But I think if people take a look at it, give it a little bit of time, they really might warm up to that one. So that's American Chavez at number two. Number one, no doubt in my mind, uh, a bit of a cop-out is you guys probably didn't even need to watch this video to know that Rintra, a hairy bipedal creature, a big bull, a big, what is it, minotaur, Coming in hot, I mean, you know this is what Kyle wants. I love big figures, hiry bipedal creatures, stuff like this. This is what I'm looking for. Now, no affinity to this figure as well. I mean, really, do I have an affinity for many of these figures? Obviously, I know about Doctor Strange, but I never read his comic. I was never big into Doctor Strange. So this, for me, this is not the best of the lineups we've ever had just because of what I like, and you like what you like, and you don't what you don't, as we always say. But Rintra, just being what it is, I don't believe he's in the movie. Maybe in enough further movies down the road, he'll be in there. But just the coolness factor here of a Minotaur, there's nothing. I can't pass this up. I can't pass this up, and I didn't pass this up. Uh, just an awesome Build-A-Figure. Will this be in my top five Build-A-Figures of 2022? You'll have to stay tuned way till the end of the year to find that out. But I guess as of right now, this is the number one Build-A-Figure of 2022 because I think this is the first Legends line of 2022 that we've unboxed, I believe. But I like this Rintra. Something different. Different is pretty cool. All in all, this entire wave, a mixed bag, I would say. A lot of deep cuts. Uh, some good, some bad, like any other line. But I would say this is a line I don't think we'll have a lot of hard times finding out there. Uh, some lines, you know, are very tough, and you got to take a while to track down. I just don't see this Doctor Strange wave being that way. But you never know. Once that movie hits, if the movie is really good... Things might really look up for this line. So we'll see where it shakes out. But what do you think about this line? Are you picking and choosing? You totally passing? You picking them all up? Do you think these will be hard to get? Are you as surprised that I am as this America Chavez is number two on my list? I just can't believe it. And I think you probably knew, like a lot of us, who number one would be. But let me know your list. Let me know your thoughts on this wave. Make sure you give this video the old thumbs up. You made it this far. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter. Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. And of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So for Marvel Legends, Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness Wave, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.